the your mind has so many compartments. Most of them have not been opened up. Everything that you have perceived, everything, even if you have perceived it unconsciously, it is still there. A few people might have experienced this, that they went to a place and it's almost like everything about it they know. So what's deja vu? It feels like you go to some place or you see somebody or some situation, it looks like you've already been there or you've already known this or known this person or thing or experience or whatever. Ninety percent of the time, it could be just a psychological process. See, your mind has so many compartments. Most of them have not been opened up, most of them. Do you know people become, become schizophrenic and there have been people who have over, over thirty different personalities? Do you know? Over thirty personalities who play thirty personalities full scale, with total detail, without any hassle. Not just thirty, if you want you can play three million because the mind is so elaborate. If you open up all, if you want to play three million roles, you can play three million roles but it's happening as a disease, so it's a problem. If it was happening consciously, there was no problem, isn't it? And many people are playing roles consciously too, <laughs> isn't it? So, there are many, many, many spaces in the head that you don't know. It's one thing with your mind is, everything that you have perceived, everything, even if you have perceived it unconsciously, it is still there. You're just walking on the street, you're driving through the streets at seventy, eighty miles per hour, most of it you think, you don't even notice it consciously, but everything that the camera of the eye sees, it captures and it's stored forever. It may not be consciously there, but it's all there. The same goes for all the five senses. Every sound that you heard, every smell that you smelt, every taste that you have been tasted and everything that you have touched and felt, it's all recorded and kept and a large part of it is unconscious. Because there is so much information inside, it could match up with almost anything that you see in the world. And it could make… if you are gravitating towards something, the mind can create this illusion that you've already been there because it has all the information needed to create a scene like that. It has everything in itself to do it. So I would say ninety percent of the time it's a psychological process. But there might have been sometimes, a few people might have experienced this, that they went to a place and it's almost like everything about it they know, that is a real deja vu <laughs> but I would like to keep that percentage to two percent of the reality, another eight percent may be out of control mental reactions to certain things. But in two percent of the cases it may be true. Why I am bringing it down to this percentage is, people don't have control over their imagination and if they like something, to assert that they will create so many things in the background of their mind, which is all a psychological process, which is of no consequence. But sometimes it could be true that it is so. Is there such a thing? Yes, there is. But most of the time, I would say ninety-eight percent of the time, I would advise you discount it. You just discount it as a psychological process, otherwise, you will see, once you start believing in it, you will see it will start happening to you everywhere. That means you're really going off control. <laughs>